Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> I had to do a different intro for this one, didn't I? It's Christmas, so we have to get into the spirit, and we have to talk about what I've got for you today, because this is a bountiful gem that I'm just about to bestow upon you all. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just the start of something special that I want to give to you and get you guys working with me in the scene to make this even better. Okay, I have developed the ultimate NES console. Now, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I've not been sat there with, I don't know, microchip plans and my soldering irons and stuff. I've just wingled together all kinds of the best stuff from various different front ends, builds and ideas and put them together into one bastard master, whatever you could call this, build. This one has got nothing to do with the big build that I was talking about in previous videos. That is still on its way and there will be more information about that later on in the video. This one was born out of me being so disappointed with the mini NES Classic that was released some time ago. First off, you can't get your hands on it for love of God. It is absolute an abortion the way they've gone about actually shipping all these out to the various different countries. They knew that this was going to happen and I think that it's basically down to the... I don't know, PR machine. They want people to want it, and the best way you want it is if you can't get it. Sounds silly, but it works. It's been proven with previous Nintendo products that they do time and time again. Anyway, that's off topic. What I am talking about is what's actually on that Mini NES Classic. Now, first off, you get 30 games, awesome. And of course, it's officially Nintendo licensed, so you get all the controller, the console itself, which looks damn cool. I'm gonna get one just for the actual console. So, but when it comes to actually playing the games, it's not that special. You go through the menu structure and stuff and you don't see no video footage, you can't see what the game's like, there's not much, that much information and it looks pretty, I don't know, simplistic. Of course you went for the aesthetics of the 8-bit generation and they tried to keep it all like that. But for me, I think they could have gone a few steps further. Now. I took the inspiration for that. I thought about it and I thought I could probably do better than that or at least the scene that we're in now can do better than this. So I set to work and I've tried to amalgamate everything that I've learned so far and I've started to build a themed front end to just run that system. It will go into other systems as we go through, but for now I want to just build an ultimate NES console, one which runs every game at its highest possible potential with a front end which surpasses the original. And I think that's quite possible. I think everybody here can do it. So I've made a start. Now by no means is this anywhere finished. This is complete alpha build. But I think that it's something that everybody can jump onto and we can get this running to the maximum. Then when that's done, we can focus on another console and then another console and we can add to this and we can build up the most ultimate-ish console little front endy whatever it is you want to call it that has ever lived now this one runs on a raspberry pi in fact the build that i'm running i've tested it on a raspberry pi zero in its early stages and it worked fine we're only running 8-bit systems at this moment in time the front end doesn't lag or anything like that that i've built so far but of course as we add new uh, i don't know theme in new ideas things could change but i know they all definitely will run on a raspberry pi 3 so that is what i want to get out of this and I want to build the ultimate NES console so I want videos I want music I want it game information I want heightened visuals when I'm going through the menus I want it to look like we're in 2017 rather than looking back to what was available 20 30 years ago it's just not cricket so anyway, guys I'm waffling on here let's actually take a look at what I've come up with so far Okay, so this is what I come up with. This is the ultimate NES console and oh, jeepers creepers. Basically, I am fed up with people using the same old themes and the same old things. We need to start thinking outside the box. We need to start up in the ante. So this is me taking things one stage further and trying to improve things for everybody. So this is just in its infancy. You know, this is the first alpha build. There's a lot of things that I need to do, especially in terms of the 
visuals. I mean, the animations are all wrong. That box that pops up from under the screen, that's supposed to flap in. It's then supposed to hover and flap around after a certain period of time to entice people to actually play the game. The wheel itself, it looks like an abortion on my screen. <laughs> we need to get the size and the scale correct. We need to get the actual navigation so it looks and feels correct when we're selecting games. As of yet, the feel of it going up and down is pretty much spot on, but it just doesn't look right. It doesn't lend itself to the overall layout and theme itself. So that'll have to be improved. The box art and the cart art, the scales are all wrong. We need to get that improved, so I'll do that probably next. Also, the animation as it comes in from the sides. It, it all needs a complete thing. But for now, it's just a placeholder. I just wanted to get my ideas onto, I don't know, theoretical paper. Obviously, it's not on paper, it's on software. But I just wanted to get my ideas out there. So I can, then I can start to tinker and improve on it bit by bit. So this is the alpha build. And this will be publicly available. I'll put it on the Attract Mode website. So you can go into the forums there. If you want to get involved, you can have a tinker yourself. See if you can improve anything or add some ideas. Or just give me a holler and help me out. Also, put in the comments down below anything that you would like added. This is just the beginning. We're not just focusing on one system. We're going to make our way through all the systems. And we're also going to focus on quality. That is the main thing. I don't want to add 2,000 wheels on here. I've got no interest in that whatsoever. What I want to add is systems that I'm going to play, systems that I enjoy, and we're going to add them at the quality which is deserving on being on my system. That's the main thing. And then obviously on your systems, because everything that I make will be available to you. Now, this isn't just going to be a front end. We're going to go for the whole hog here. I've also got an awesome idea for involving this into a console. So you can actually have the whole package. Now, again, people have flogged the same dead horse a billion times. They've put them inside original NESs. They've put them inside uh, Nintendo carts. And we are going to go down the same kind of road. But again, we're going to push this further. And we're going to go outside the box. And, well, I don't want to say too much because my ideas are still in my head. I want to give you something physical that you can look at. And then you can decide if you want to go down that road also. But again, it's all ideas, my brainstorming, my mind's turning over like, I don't know, super deluxe turbo mode. Right then, the front end itself, as you can see, it works on a wheel. You select your wheel, then your game loads up, and then you can launch the game if you wish, or you can select another one. So it's front end, it's how they all work. We can also go into favorites, we can go into genres, all kinds of stuff. They'll be added later, but that's more of a time consuming thing. I want to focus on the visuals, getting the game working and, and making the front end look good. So that's, that's what a, my main focus is going to be right now. Up to now then, I have updated everything. I have updated all the emulators, the front end builds and its backbone and core. Everything is now at its most highest build at the time of course me recording this video. Everything is working pretty well, it's just a case of me going through it all and configuring it to the way I like it. Right now as you can see I'm loading the games up and it's loading with the bezel. I play all my games in a 4x3 ratio because I like them to be exactly as they were back in the day. I'm not adding scan lines or any overlays or anything like that, but they are available. You just have to enable them in the options menu. It's not rocket science, but they are there if people want them. For me, I like to keep it all clean on this one. So, yeah, this is the look that I've gone for. Also, as you can see in the bezels, I've put some instructions as to how to exit the game. I also want to add instructions as to use the save states. Because when you're in here, if you press a certain combination of buttons, then you can actually save at a certain save state and you can load from a certain save state. Also, I've enabled it so that when you're playing a game and you was to exit out, it would automatically save at the precise point that you exited out of that game. So if you're doing something, you want to play another game for a while, you play that and then you want to go back to it, you don't actually have to save the game itself. It's already saved for you in terms of a save state. Awesome. Awesome ideas. This is what makes emulation and retro gaming so positive. I love it. Absolutely love it. So that's about it, I think. That's about where we're up to. Of course, like I said, we're going to go and evolve into various different systems. We're going to probably focus on the 8-bit systems at the beginning. Probably go on to the Sega Master System. Then we're going to go on to the SNES. 
uh, the genesis of the Mega Drive as I name it and work our way up but the main focus of all this will be quality rather than quantity I'm fed up with the same retro pie attract mode themes going same old same old every day we're gonna heighten this we're gonna blow this and push it to the limit guys this is open for everybody it's completely free and i want to make this a scene based themed front end one that everybody gets involved with and we share our tastes our build knowledge our anything i don't mind i just want this to be the creme de la creme when it comes to pie emulation and what people choose but don't worry guys because i'm still going to be releasing my big image i just had to re-update them all basically there was updates to the attract mode stuff and it plays even better now with hyperspin themes so what i've managed to do is get the entire hyperspin i would say more arcade based systems for playing with all the individual um, hyperspin themes all playing on the retro pie setup it's absolutely awesome so look forward to that I've got so much pie stuff coming out of my ears I can't even breathe right then guys so that is it for my build please give me a comment down in the description if you would like anything else added to this as of yet it is still like I said placeholders there's a lot of way to go with this have a look at the image that I'm going to upload for you guys. Get it downloaded, put it into your Pi. At the moment, I think I'm playing on a 32 gig uh, SD card. Of course, this build at the moment plays nowhere near that kind of size. But I'm aiming off and plus, I can't be bothered setting up a new SD card image. I'm just going to upload what I've got right now. It's only an alpha build. Do not expect much from it, guys. It's still got a long way to go in terms of configuration and setup. I just wanted to get something out to you guys for Christmas. <laughs> so there we go. So, anyway guys, I've done enough waffling, it's Christmas time, you should be with your family, friends, eating lots of food, drinking lots of beer. But, that's it guys, please like them, please subscribe, please look forward to me releasing, hopefully, the SD card before Christmas. But most of all, most of all, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Laters!